It's Britney, babe. <laughs> Britney Spears has released a new memoir called The Woman and Me. It actually drops tomorrow, but it's been in pre-order for several days and number one on the bestsellers list on Amazon. Let's talk about some publicity do's and don'ts. Hi, everyone. Alexandra here. And if you don't know me, I'm a visibility strategist and a former active publicist. And I help entrepreneurs, personal brands, and content creators to grow their visibility and monetize their brand. And one of the ways that you could do that is through publicity. And of course, Brittany has been getting the buzz for her book over the last couple of weeks. And she hasn't been putting it all out there. She did a few select media interviews, including people, and also has been kind of, um, you know, responding to some of the backlash that's coming out. Um, or maybe it's not backlash, but it's the all the, the additional buzz on her story. So we're going to go over some of those do's and don'ts and also take a look at where her book's at on the bestseller list so far before the before the release date tomorrow. But before we do that, if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe to my channel for the latest tips, strategies, and news to grow your visibility. So the first thing, of course, is that Britney Spears, pop icon, people want to know about her life. She's got super fans, mega celebrity, and because she was in this conservatorship and really couldn't speak freely... People are really curious about what happened, what was going on, and what she's thinking. Coupled with somewhat of a chaotic Instagram presence, right? I think people are really genuinely interested and curious about what she has to say, her voice, sharing her voice. Part of my mission is to help people get their power back, get their voice back. And I love that Brittany is doing that with this book. So a big do is having that courage to put herself out there and really share vulnerably and authentically. Another thing that she did is that she's given exclusive rights. She did a, a cover for People and CBS Morning, which connected to People, was covering her story, some excerpts from the book. And she did her first cover on People, actually a first cover in general in years with people as part of the promotion for this book. As part of that, some excerpts have been dropped, some tidbits from her book have been shared. Of course, like I said at the beginning, the spill of the tea, there were some really, really shocking bits, like the fact that she had a um, pregnancy termination, as well as was um, cheated on her, uh, on Justin Timberlake. So some of that news has come out, is driving some additional buzz for the book. But this could, if not done right, or if done too much, if it's overwhelming, could actually hurt somebody's book sales, right? Like in the case of Jada Pinkett Smith, oversharing all of these revelations, people are just over it. I'm seeing it in my comments. I'm reading other people's comments. In the case of Brittany, there were a few days there where a lot of things were coming out. A lot of bombshells were coming out every day. And it was seeming like it was going to be a lot too much. But then the book became available on pre-order and it's been at number one since. Since I checked which was on Thursday and probably came out the day before on pre-order. Since I checked on Thursday of last week, the book has been number one overall and number one on Audible. So, and, and obviously in every category that she's in. So great news for Brittany. People really want to hear her story. I actually got it on Audible and Michelle Williams, the actress, is going to be uh, voicing that. So that should be really, really cool. Very interesting. Like I just said a minute ago, the downside with the oversharing reveal is that it just gets overwhelming. So in a way, it's almost like just have a tiptoe a little bit into it, get people intrigued. But re the, reality, the reality is that anything that Britney Spears would write about would be interesting for people to read. So the reality is because she's been in this conservatorship or wasn't it for so long 
and was silenced for so long, people want to see peek behind the curtain and see what what's happening, what really happened in her life. So controversy could get you more buzz, could get more eyeballs on your brand or product service or whatever it is that you're offering. And there could also be a backlash with that. So it has to be done, I think, there's a balance to it, right? If it's overdone and overwhelming, then people get, it, you turn off people. And also being with an integrity with yourself, right? So it's got to be done, I, I think, just enough to, to, to raise, to have that viral factor, to get that buzz factor, but done too much. Like I, I actually did a whole video on whether the negative publicity in the case of Jada Pinkett Smith actually was bad publicity, right? Like there's the whole phrase of like good negative publicity is good publicity. And I keep seeing every day I look at her book rankings, it's dropping. So there isn't that hold, that drive to to keep her book in the top 10 or top 20 because it keeps it keeps dropping. So I I think it had to do with that oversharing and people are just over it. And it's not it's not inspiring people to want to get her book. Now I'll be keeping tabs on Britney's book and the bestseller list and see how long she stays on there. Most likely it will be a uh, a New York Times bestseller as well. And so we'll see. We'll keep an eye on that. And you know she was again silenced for so many years. I think that this chance opportunity that she has to share her voice share her message, her story in her own terms, I think is powerful and a great um, inspiration for all of us, especially women, personal personal brands, women entrepreneurs and creators, because a lot of times we learned not to, not to speak up. And so I think this is really powerful for a powerful message and inspiration, no matter what you feel about Britney Spears. It's, it is motivating and inspiring to see somebody share their voice and share their story. So here we are as of Monday, uh, late afternoon, Britney Spears' book is number one in hardcover. Uh, that's the bestseller overall on Amazon. And it's been number one since I checked on Thursday. Today's Monday. The book is still in pre-order. And actually, let's go ahead and check it. So you can get it as a as a hardcover, as a Kindle, or as an audiobook. And I'm almost positive that in audiobook, she should still be number one. The last I checked, let's see here. Yes. So she's number one overall in Audible books. And let's just see, take a look, see here. Okay, so Worthy by Jada Pickett Smith is number two in Audible. So that's actually great news for. Jada, that she is, um, even though her overall book rankings have dropped, that the book is number two in Audible. And so here it says, okay, so she, uh, the Audible is number one in composer and musician, number one in biographies of celebrities, and number two in rich and famous biographies. But that's because she is, it's number two in Audible to number one in hardcover. So, oh, actually, look at this. In that category, all four options. Oh, and there's a paperback here as well. The hardcover is number one, Audible number two, number four is the Kindle version, and number five is the paperback. And let's see if there's any other <laughs> any other versions here. Oh, that's kind of interesting. John Stamos just came out with a book. Let's see. Okay, that's actually releasing tomorrow as well. And it's so funny. I, you know, I just did a, a I just did a short on this. You know, I, I, if you're seeing a lot of these th these celebrities sharing their stories, it's partially because, uh, in, in particular, actors, screen and TV actors, in particular, because of the writers. I'm sorry, the actors strike. They can't talk about their work. So if you see many of them talking, spilling the tea on their personal lives, that's part of the reason why. 
So this one from Matthew McConaughey actually dropped in October of 2020, uh, of 2020. So this book's three years old and he's number six in the bestsellers and rich and famous biographies. So that's, that's good for him. Oh, Will's on there. Okay. So let's go back to the hardcover and take a look there. And that is, should be number one all across. Yeah. So number one in books overall, number one in rich and famous biographies, number one in memoirs, and number one in actor and entertainer biographies. Let's just take a look at who else is on the actor and entertainer. Okay, so John Stamos is number three. Worthy, the audible version of Worthy is number four on that. Dolly Parton is number five. Let's see, when did this come out from Dolly? Oh, this just released as well. So lots of celebrities po releasing their books. Lots and lots and lots of celebrities releasing their books. Uh, let's see here. Reba McIntyre also released October 10th. Patrick Stewart, October 3rd. I know Arnold Schwarzenegger released it earlier this month as well. Oh, Carrie Washington. Let's see when she released hers. September. So it took September 26th. Okay, interesting. All right. Well, again, if you're seeing a lot of the drama being displayed in the media from these TV and movie actors, it's partially because of that actor strike. They're not allowed to talk about work, work projects and career. Uh, well, they can talk about their career, but they can't talk specifically about upcoming projects or any movies or TV shows that they're on, anything related to uh to tv or movie show uh movies that they're on is just it's it's not they can't promote anything so a lot of them are just promoting their personal lives talking about their personal lives and so that might be a reason why we're seeing an uptick in the spill the tea tours so are you buying britney's book or have you bought it are you excited to see her, uh, read her story or hear her story I got it on Audible, so I'll be listening to it with Michelle Williams' voice narrating it. And if you're interested in maybe me covering some of the stories from more of a personal branding perspective, so more of a professional angle, let me know in the comments. And I won't be talking about, I won't be covering the tea, I won't be covering the drama, but anything like she is a mega superstar. So that part of it, like creating a personal brand reputation, things like that. Anything from that angle is really interesting and I think will serve me and you. So let me know if you're interested in that and I'll share more on those parts. And let me know if you have any other thoughts. Would love to hear them in the comments. And if you like this video, if you learned something, please hit the thumbs up. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel for more news, tips, and strategies on growing your visibility and monetizing your brand. And remember, it is your time to be boldly seen and heard. All right, everyone. Bye for now. For more help growing your visibility and monetizing your brand, go to alexanderfigueredo.com. And if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. Thank you.